Hello, my name's Kevin Saris. I'm from Air Hairdressing in Malvern. Today, I'm going to take you through some long hairdressing techniques. They're quick and simple, and hopefully should allay any fears that you may have as hairdressers in approaching long hair. The first of my styles I'm going to do today will be special occasion hair. This could be bridal or prom hair. On Rosanna's hair, I'm going to do I'm going to do two looks out of the one head of hair. One is half up and half down, and the other, will, I will put the whole back section up that I've left down, um, up into a, a full up style. I'm going to use ceramic curling tongs to create some curl in the hair to give it a, a romantic fairy tale feel. I only met Rosanna 20 minutes ago, and this, seems, this might seem shocking, but there's a reason for this. 95% of, of bridal hair in the, in the salon are non-clients of the salon. So at best, you're going, to, you're going to have a bridal trial with the bride, but most bridesmaids, you won't see them until the day. Okay, I'm now going to start by sectioning into the nape. It's very important when you're doing bridal hair and also when you're doing tongue work that you take small sections. This is the key. Most people find that, that when you put in curl in the hair, it tends to drop out, and that's because people take the sections too thick. So it's important you start with fine sections, so I'm just gonna clip all this up out of the way. It's also products very, very important when you're, when you're tonguing hair as well. You need to have a strong hold hairspray that slightly damps the hair first rather than a dry hold hairspray that tends to sort of brush out. Because if you use a dry hold hairspray, the minute the tongs hit it, the, the product will just evaporate. So I'm taking my first section, plenty of tension on the hair, and evenly applying the hairspray. You can see it slightly damped the hair first of all. Then with the, with the tongs, I'm going to start in at the root area. I'm going to drag the tongue right the way through to the ends. And I'm going to roll that up. At this point, you can, you can start to feel the product evaporate. I'm just lightly touching the tongue just to feel the heat through the hair. Once you feel that heat coming through, then release the grip. And there you've got your curl. What I tend to do is just to put another little section of spray over it just to hold it in. Okay, so I'm taking the next section. Just using the end of my clip, which is sometimes easier than if you're using a comb. It's quicker than keeping that out of the way. Again, taking the section. I always find the key to any bridal work is to find out from your bride, first of all, what kind of wedding she's having. You know, what her dress is like. That's the, that's the first thing. Because that'll give you an indication whether it's going to be a romantic kind of wedding, if the, if the dress is, is very full and quite floaty. Also, the location of her wedding. If it's going to be at a kind of, like a, a rural location, maybe a castle, maybe, that, that'll give you an indication of, of the theme of the wedding. So that, that'll be the first port of call for, the, for, the, um, for your hair, really. So again, creating all that curl. Again, just reapplying that hairspray to those ends. You can start to see the curls building up now. I think one of the things you immediately can see is that it actually tends to, um, tends to shrink the hair up a little bit. An important point is Rosanna's hair is beautiful because it, it has got some real length naturally, where um, these days you don't always have natural long hair. So if the hair is kind of any shorter than this, sometimes it's nice to be able to use hair extensions, clip in hair extensions, you can clip in through this area and that will give you some extended length. 
Another thing you can notice as well, which is, which is lovely with the curl too, is the texture of the colour. Um, this is something I always like to try to suggest to our brides as well, because if they're going to have their hair curled, it's really nice they have a kind of set of highlights through it as well, because that gives the hair extra texture. As you can see here, you can probably start to see where the highlights kind of just rope through the hair beautifully, and that gives the hair even more texture, rather than if the hair was just one solid colour. to these front sections, it's important that the curl isn't too big there, so I'm just going to take your sections just a tiny bit smaller, just in around the front sections, in case your bride may want to wear some of it down at the front. So always leave yourself just some finer sections there, as you can see, I've just split that down. I mean, today we're not going to do that, but... Um, there might be times where you want to do that, so if you've got your sections too thick, to try and split them up after is not so easy, so it's, it's much better to, to go a little bit finer here. The placement of the colour is very, very important because um, you don't want to put the hair up and then have it dark underneath and then, it, and then have the colour on top. And you can see I'm on this small section here, that's what I was saying about making sure that you um, take the sections a little bit more finely across the face there. I'm now coming to the top section of the hair. I think at this point, it's important to start to just put a little bit more drag as we get to the top, because you don't want too much curl going on close to the root of the top, so we don't get, get too much height going on there. So I'm going to start just to, just to drag the curl, slightly bigger sections there. And as always, just evenly spraying the hair through. I've got that bit of drag, so I've not curled that too close to the root. Really what I'm looking for is just a little bit of movement on those ends. Okay, so just work through that part inside. I'm just going to turn the chair slightly around. I'm just going to work through my final section there. Again, you can see nice big curl. The colour's fab. It's really gorgeous with all the texture in there. And again, it's surprising, I say, just as it just pulls the hair up that little bit as well in length. Okay.